Yo Wagwan, hope you are having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn off mic monitoring when you are trying to record audio in FL Studio 20. Now, this is going to be very, very useful for you if you want to record vocals, for example, and you don't want to hear yourself while you're recording. Because the thing with hearing yourself while you're recording is you'll probably be hearing yourself at a, at a delay. So you'll be recording and then you'll hear your voice back and that can make recording very very difficult that can make it really really difficult for you to stay on beat and whatnot so if you want to be on beat and you want clearer vocals and you want to do it as easy as possible this video is going to help you out yeah so you can get your your recording preferences exactly how you want it to so you can make more music now if you don't know who i am i'm jay carter Ray from jaycarteray.com teaching you how to be better at music online marketing and online business this is the number one spot for musicians and creators that don't want to be starving artists so if that sounds like you click on that subscribe button check out the rest of the content on the channel now let's get straight into this this is this should be a very quick video and as you can see i've just opened up my vocal song recording template which is in the process of being created i will leave a link down below to this template when it's done but basically I've set up, you know, my vocal recording channels and whatnot. And as you can see, I'm actually, my vocals are coming in here, but it's not reflecting back. I'm not hearing the delayed version and whatnot. So in order to actually make this happen, there is, it's very, very easy. Actually, when you create a vocal channel, the way you'll do it is you'll just, you'll go to an insert and I've got a whole video on how to create a vocal channel, but you'll select, you know, whichever input you want and then you'll press record and then bob's your uncle you've got a vocal channel but the thing with this here is when you just select a random insert it's going to be connected to the master channel and when your vocal channel is connected to the master channel that's when you start hearing your voice your vocals come back in now if i just press over here you'll start here you'll start hearing me blah 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 so that's how that's how it runs now because i've i've basically clicked on this button so that this channel is not connected to the master track i can now record in but i won't actually hear the vocals at the same time so if i wanted to record in right now let's see where my audio is at yeah two five six yeah we should be able to do that wait this is recording in my um microphone audio let's see if we can actually get the real proper audio in there let's see if that works one sec one sec let me just test this because it's i've been having problems with this today let's just testing okay beautiful so the right mic is in there and all that sort of stuff so let me show you quickly this in action we're just gonna record real real quick testing 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 actually it's not recording because i didn't press this red button now let's record testing 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 good times so there we go <laughs> if we listen to this back you'll hear that it's audio and it works but obviously because this isn't connected to the master channel we're not going to be able to hear this audio so what i like to do is i just like to connect my audio recording track to a completely different channel let's actually turn off all these effects because these effects just do not like, you know, everything that's going on on my computer at the same time. So this should be cool. Actually, do I have? Yes, accidentally got Ozone on. That is a terrible mistake that I, I've made in the past. But when that happens, your vocals are going to be super, super out of sync. But hopefully everything works. Let's play this back. So what I've done is I've connected this channel to this channel. Now we want to turn off the actual recording and get rid of that so you can't hear everything that comes in. And then we'll turn this channel back on. And we should actually be able to use the effects at this point. Shouldn't be too bad without Ozone on. And then let's play this back. Okay, so the audio that you're supposed to hear right about now isn't actually coming back. As well as earlier, you're supposed to hear some feedback when I connected my vocals to the master chain. For some reason, 
all the screen recording audio isn't available right about now so you're just gonna have to trust me <laughs> trust me and trust that what i'm saying actually works this is what i use to turn off mic monitoring when i'm recording so try it out and you'll see the examples when you're actually you know following this tutorial so basically do that and i'm sorry that the system audio isn't there there's not much i can do at this point so that sounds crackly mainly because i had ozone on at the same time let me i guess i don't need to do it again like you you should know how to record if you've come to this video if you just want to know how to turn off mic monitoring right if you don't know how to record i do have a specific video that will show you how to do that and how to set up the channels and all that sort of stuff but if you don't have a big <laughs> plugin like ozone on in your master channel then you won't get like loads of crackliness usually so to recap one more time in order to turn off mic monitoring all you need to do is make sure that the channel which your vocals is coming into is not also connected to the master channel so as long as you disconnect it you won't hear that audio come back now you will have that audio come back if you've connected your vocal channel to another channel and that channel is active so make sure this channel is not active if you want to connect your channel to another channel and, and do what i do but this the main vocal recording channel needs to be active if you turn this off then it won't actually record the audio so that's why you need to turn you need to disconnect it from the master channel and not just turn it off here okay i hope that makes a lot of sense i hope that's helped you out okay so that's how you do it very very quick straightforward video i hope i gave you all the information you needed question of the day is what kind of song are you trying to record right now let me know in the comment section down below and if you want five free beats to use in your next single so that you can upload your songs to Spotify and make money from your music, five of my best beats are available for free. Link is in the description down below or go to jcarterray.com forward slash free beats. That's my gift to you for watching this video to the end. If you have any other questions or tutorials you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music, online business and online marketing. Peace out.